Hey guys, it's uh, the Gimp King here. I'm going to show you how to make like a burn in effect with an animation. Uh, like I do on the L5Guy.com website. Here, I'll show you an example. Where is it? Right there. Something like that. I'll show you how to make something like that. Uh, okay. First, I'm going to exit out of this. Okay, first, open up GIMP and click File, New, and make it whatever size or whatever uh, size you want. Click OK. Now, you can do whatever you want to this. I'll take my bucket full, fill tool, make it black and dark yellow, and like stroke down make it like this now go to filters artistic you don't have to do this I just want to do this because it looks cool huh. uh, go to oh wait, decor add bevel or actually never mind go to filters uh, render uh, where's illusion at artistic maybe crap Illusion, illusion, illusion. There it is. Uh, no. Come on, where the heck is it? Illusion. I know it's in here because I just did it yesterday. Uh, here it is. It's in map. Click illusion. And then click uh, mode one. And make about. 10 divisions. You don't have to do this once again, as I keep saying. Okay, now make a new layer. Make sure it's on transparency and click OK. Or actually, never mind, don't do that. Just take your text tool and type whatever you want. And make the text however you want. All I'm going to tell you is never merge these layers. Actually, you know what? This should be white. Or wait, let me see. Yeah, it should be black. No, it's going to be. Uh, and just turn it white, I guess. Okay. Now, uh, make a new layer. And then make sure it's on transparency. Move that below the text layer. And uh, letter to image size, and then alpha to selection. Whoops, oh, alpha to selection on the text layer, and then select grow and grow it by about 15. Well, you don't have to do it by 15, this is just because my layers or my text is really big. Make the back or make the foreground color black and fill it in. Actually, I think I made that a little bit too big. But, uh, people like that. Okay. Now, merge these down. Merge down. Okay. Now, they're like this. Uh, or actually, never mind, don't merge them down. Select the text layer. Uh, click alpha to selection. And do this, whatever colors you want. Make mine black and red. And then stroke down. Or stroke up. It doesn't really matter. Uh, select none. Now, I'm going to fill mine in with a uh, thing. Pattern fill. And then fill it in with a uh, thing. Overlay. There's overlay in. Uh, overlay. And as you can tell, I got a new, uh, a new, uh, thing for my, a new theme for my GIMP. You can find a tutorial on that anywhere on, uh, YouTube. I don't think I'll make a tutorial on it. Okay, now, uh, make sure your, the GIMP King, or your text slider is selected. 
again off of the selection take your oval make your foreground white okay now make a oval shape oh wait hold on take your oval crap now click uh intersect with the current selection and now uh crap select the off the selection okay now and make sure it's on intersect with the current selection and then select the text part make it like a roundish like thing like this you don't have to do this um, again I'm just adding stuff to make it look cool gradient FG to transparent stroke down select none see how that looks that's too white uh, that's not white enough Eh, that's okay. Okay. Now we merge these down. And now select your text layer, the one that was tech that we just that you did all that stuff to. Go to filters, animation, and click burn in. And now change your uh speed to fifteen and then your glow color to black. Well actually it it mat it determines on what color your outline in the background is. But black usually works better. Now wait for it to blend and everything, which will probably take a while. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, it made 49 layers. Click filters, animation, and then click playback. Now click play and watch it. See, there you go. There's your burn in effect. And uh, rate, subscribe, comment, and talk to you guys later. Bye.